What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to speed up your jumper. Let's get started. Yo, I was told to be humble. You could look into the world and you could see it all crumble. Pop up for the fox, seen it way too many times. Try to keep it all together, but slipping away. So now you could look into the world and see what I see. But I bet you get your hands up on both knees. Crying now, yes, you were how much the people that sit the So I'm crying that we need you. Yes, you were how much here. Yes, you were high. Alright guys, well, like I said, we're just gonna go over a couple of tips quickly about what can help you speed up the release of your shot speed up you know the the time the preparation the release and all that so your shot isn't slow it's not a set shot and you can get it off before defenders have a chance to actually even block it or even contest your shot all right so the first thing i want to talk about is your foot preparation and how important that is to make sure your feet are right and the things that you do into your jump shot to help speed the release up all right so when i'm talking about i'm talking about a one two footwork Right, so a lot of the times when you start growing up in the game of basketball, you're you know you're shown how to do the jump stop and to shoot, and when you go to a dribble to jump stop and to shoot. But as you get older and you're experienced in playing the game and you're trying to speed up the release of your shot, you start going into a one-two footwork. Meaning, if I'm going into my shot, I'm going one-two, right? Or even the opposite way, one-two. That is an easier way than going here and then to going up. Because with this, number one, it gives you a rhythm into your shot, it allows you to load up, but still speed up the release of your shot, okay? Because if I'm going like this, and then going into my shot, it's slower than rather than me just coming in and I'm already there, right? My feet are set the way I need them. I don't have to jump up, wait to land, and then go back up, but my foot preparation is already done and perfect. Same thing, if I'm coming off of a screen, I can come off, one, two, I got into my shot, rather than coming off of the screen, hopping, right? So focus on one, two footwork when you're trying to speed up the release of your jump shot. All right, Hooper's the next thing. So we just talked about our feet, now we're gonna talk about our hand preparation and our shoulders, okay? So really the top part of our release point or the top part of our shot. So now if I'm coming off of the screen, right, and I'm coming to get the basketball, I wanna show my hands, right? Because if I don't, if I show my hands, number one, that's gonna show my passer where I like the ball. I might like it low, I might like it to the left, to the right, might right at my chest or high, right? It's different for every type of player. But if I actually give my, my passer a target, they'll know where to hit me. If they throw it to the, uh, a different place, shame on them, bad pass, it messes up the rhythm of your jump shot. But if I come off and I show my hands and I get it where I want it, that can help actually speed the process up of your jump shot, being able to show them, get the ball right there so you're already starting off in the right spot rather than having to go, oh, you threw a pass down here. Now I gotta bring it back to where I want it, right? So make sure you're showing your hands every time you go off of the screen, every time you go off to get a catch from somewhere or a teammate. Another thing, get your shoulders turned around. So when I do come off the screen, I gotta make sure that my shoulders get turned towards the basket as quick as possible. If I take too long, so if I'm coming off that screen and I get the catch and I'm here, I even got my one-two footwork, but if my top part now is, oh, okay, now I'm ready to shoot. That becomes a set shot. You're not ready, you haven't done the necessary preparation in order to make it work and to make it happen quickly. We wanna make sure that we're coming off, we're showing our hands, and we're getting our shoulders turned towards the basket in order to fire up a good shot. That's also gonna help speed up the release of our jump shot. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about, and that's gonna help that I personally believe in my own opinion, is keeping the ball high. So when you do catch the basketball, rather than catching it, dipping it, swinging it through, I feel that if you can catch the ball where you want it in your shooting pocket and to keep it here, is beneficial for you in quickening up that release, right? So if you see me come off and I just catch it and I'm already in my pocket because I've done my footwork, I've got my shoulders turned, I've showed my hands, now all I have to do is catch, keep it there, and actually release it. It makes it easier rather than catching it, dipping it, trying to get everything set all together at once rather than doing it step by step. Got my feet, got my hands, got my shoulders, got my catch, got my release, money time okay so try to work on that that's my own personal belief like i said in my own personal opinion and what i think 
helps speed up the release of your shot. It worked for me going from high school to college and in between, you know, trying to make my shot quicker before I even got to college. So I knew I was going to have to get that release point quicker. Right, so I've got to make sure, and I like to practice that when I catch the ball, I don't bring it lower than my chest. Right, unless the ball is passed to me down here, then obviously you're going to have to bring it up. But if I get that ball where I want it, which is right at my chest level, I keep it right here, and I can just go straight into my jump shot. All right, so try to keep that ball high when you catch it. Try to eliminate any dip, any rip through on your shot, unless if you're trying to size up a defender, then you can maybe maybe swing it down. But if you're coming off of the screen to catch and shoot. Work on keeping that ball high and firing away. All right, Hoopers, I'm going to give you a quick, easy, simple drill. We're going to go around the world with rhythm shooting. Okay, so your five spots are the corner, the wing, the middle of the wing, and the opposite corner. And all this drill is going to look like is we're going to be in the mid-range area. Now, I want to bounce the ball in front of me, so I work on that one-two footwork. Okay, so I want to bounce the ball in front, step in, catch, and keep that ball up. I don't want you to step, drop the ball, and then shoot it. And I don't want you to catch, hop, and shoot, right? We want to bounce it in front, walk into it, keep the ball high, release the ball up, OK? Simple drill, five spots, 10 from each spot, three sets, OK? So that's 150 shots you're shooting right there just off of this basic, simple drill. So I want to give myself almost to the three-point line so I can bounce the ball in front, step in, catch, and shoot. Here it is in full speed. Black lives matter, mind us too. Got us all about the unity, so what you gonna do? Be a peacemaker, go your own route. You can follow your flesh and all lose, no doubt. Self reflect on everything that you've been through. Look at another brother, consider what he been through. He may look a lot different, but the same king. Yellow, red, black, white, God over everything. There's a fire and it's coming for you. Consume your heart, light up, make it brand new. Give you joy that you never understood before. Let the Holy Spirit work, knock you on the floor. Yeah, either way, when it's all said and done, God gonna give the glory with the with that. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video on how to quicken up the release of your jump shot. If you liked it, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Also, then leave a comment or a suggestion. After that, click the subscribe button. Join Think Pro Basketball, where we're giving you professional level training designed to help give you in-game results and improve your game and take your game to the next level. So until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, try to work on the things that you've seen today so you can speed up the release of your jump shot. And remember to always keep hooping.